Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today I got some interesting news that I wanted to go over and uh, let you guys know uh, based on a lot of things I've been researching. But first off, for those of you guys just tuning in, um, you guys, a lot of you guys asked me how to win one of these, uh, so I am going to be doing a sweepstakes giveaway. I 3D printed this baby and paint, hand painted it myself, really cool. It holds the Nintendo Switch, you can charge it. Um, uh, you could have your phone holding it and, you know, the, doing selfies and so on and so forth. So I'm going to be giving that off. I'm printing right now some uh, other stuff as well. I'm going to be uh, doing uh, sweepstakes giveaway during the episodes of the mini series, which I, first off, I finished the first mini series for you guys uh, based on your request. So it's how to build a gaming slash post-production slash productivity computer on the cheap. Now, this one is going to be how to build a Star Killer or a Iron Man helmet from beginning to end on a 3D printer. Uh, so right now, I'm, I'm reviewing the parts like I did with the computer thing. First, I reviewed every part. That part then it goes it, it uh, segues into the uh, mini series of how to build a computer so now this is going to be the same I'm, I'm reviewing right now certain parts for it and then once we get into the mini series of how to build a, a helmet from beginning to end and end I mean with paint and all and the weathered paint I also put in there as a bonus feature because a lot of you guys were really interested in that I said why not just throw it in there <clears throat> So during that time, I am going to be doing the sweepstakes giveaway. Now, the, uh, the way you enter is pretty much just comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know how is your progress in doing this. Uh, you know, uh, uh, like, uh, comment, and definitely subscribe. And from that, I'm going to put it on a randomizer, and it, it's going to pick out, you know, a winner from there. Now, you know, those of you guys... Uh, I'm going to be doing also a giveaway of the uh, Scorpion, which I have it up here. Scorpion, um, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm going to call it a helmet, even though it's not a helmet. But um, uh, Scorpion, um, you know, <laughs> hood, whatever, you know, the ninja mask. I'm going to be giving that out and uh, how to build a gaming slash post-production slash productivity desk. So definitely uh, stay tuned for that. So uh, so definitely that's going to be how you're going to be entering uh, the sweepstakes for that. And it'll be the same for the other one as well. So definitely stay tuned uh, for that. And, uh, I'll, you know, I'll keep you guys posted once we start, you know, to transition into that. So I'm going to keep you guys posted. Right now I'm working on a Iron Man glove. We'll see if that works out. I'll do a whole review on how to rig it. And all that good stuff. So now let's go into uh, the main uh, course of this beautiful dinner right here, what I'm about to tell you. So, is there a competitor for the Nintendo Switch? First off, let me tell you guys something. I have written to Nintendo many times over, telling them how they threw their customers under the bus on countless occasions, how all of their, you know, mishaps, and how they, they're they going on eggshells with their, uh, you know, with their uh, stockholders, with their investors, you know, with uh, the third-party developers, but they don't really care about their, their customers. I mean, fanboy or not, I really don't care who's a fanboy out there. This is the truth. This is a fact. Uh, especially those who were early adopters of the Nintendo Switch, who had breaking issues due to their updates. And, uh, you know, so it was like those who were actual, you know, strong fans of Nintendo end up getting their Nintendo uh, Switches screwed over uh, due to horrible decision-making. Again, this is Nintendo of Japan, not Nintendo of America. They're the ones who really screwed everything up, just like they did, just like Sega of Japan screwed them over, uh... You know, and Sega of America was constantly trying to get uh, get them to to go on board. I mean, for for God's sakes, Sega had an opportunity to join, you know, hands with uh, PlayStation One and look, uh, you know, with PlayStation with Sony, and the PlayStation would have never existed. And uh, what happened is uh, Sega of Japan said basically no, and Sony said, "Well, screw you," and they came out with the with the PlayStation One. And let's face it, that's all she wrote. But uh, anyways, so. Is there a competitor? And I always said, one of these days there's going to be a competitor. Now, if Sony came out with a competitor, uh, and I think they're going to obviously do that too, but um, nobody's really going to trust Sony after the Vita mishap. What happened now? They abandoned it. I don't think that many people, I know myself, I wouldn't give Sony another chance in hell. No chance in hell for another portable system. I just don't trust them. The thing is, now Xbox 
uh, sorry, Microsoft is about to release something that's pretty cool. Now, if you guys know Microsoft, anything that they do, they don't even care if you hacked and have a bootleg copy of their Windows system, as I told you guys before in my uh, tech reviews, because I do all kinds of reviews here, so I told you guys. They just want everybody to have it. It's sort of like Adobe, what they started doing. They want it to be the dominant market. Windows wanted to be the dominant market and wanted to go out there and just spread it out. Every business, every little thing. They didn't want Macs. They didn't want Linux. They wanted Windows operating systems on everything. And that's why they gave a free uh, Windows 10 upgrade to everybody who had Windows 7 or Windows 8. Okay, so that's the cool part. Also, if you had a bootleg one, they don't really give a crap. That's all I got to say about that. So, uh, Microsoft right now wants to do the same thing in the video game industry. Now, obviously, how are they going to pull that off? They're going to have to sell an Xbox One to everybody. Now, this is the same company that took a loss in their original Xbox, okay, just to make sales in their games, and now look where they are. It's just amazing. So, basically, they want to do the same thing and reach out there, but how are they going to do it? Are they going to go to market in the console, you know, selling consoles to everybody, uh, perhaps at $50 a pop? That would be probably smart, right? But no, they're going to go into the cell phone market. Now, it's not exactly just cell phone. What they're going to do is whether you have a tablet, cell phone, they're unleashing a thing called Project X Cloud. As you know, the cloud's getting extremely sophisticated. We're starting to pop over to 5G. A lot of companies are, I mean, some companies are offering it soon. A lot of them are. So far, they have like 54 sort of uh, regions or 60 regions. I forgot what it was exactly the number. So they're going to have eventually 5G is going to be the norm. So you'll be able uh, to get uh, 4K streaming, you know. Really, really quick. Now, the latency issue is the is the big problem. Usually, like if you guys have uh, what is it, Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime, and you're watching any type of thing, sometimes you have latency issues. Uh, so I have to see how that's going to come out. But I think they're going to come out with that. They said 2019, but I think once they start popping over to the 5G and it becomes a norm, this is going to be extremely, extremely bad news for Nintendo. Because guess what? You'll be able to stream games onto your laptop onto your phones, on, really, onto your phones. In fact, they even have already some games in the work that have uh, touch controls that are specially made for touch controls. I'm not a fan of touch controls at all. I think it's a good addition to tactile feedback controllers, you know, like the Joy-Cons. But again, you'll have add-ons to it. You'll have uh, certain phones they might come out with, as, as Windows has phones. They might come out with a more sophisticated phone. <clears throat> the bottom line is, yes, Nintendo will have a very strong competitor and they will be able, you will be able to stream games at 4K. But let's say even 4K wasn't the issue. Let's say you will be able to stream games in HD. You will have the access to such a big, big, crazy ass amount of games on the Xbox frickin' one and Xbox and all that and you'll be able to get console, real console like quality, not like Nintendo uh, Switch who has a console like quality but it's more like still less than Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Imagine being able to play Xbox One games on the go. I'm, you know, just streaming that damn thing. Now, obviously, we're not there. If you're going on a on a subway ride, which is what I use it for, and what a lot of people in Japan use it for, that's why the mobile the mobile market is extremely big in the in New York, Japan, and all of these things. It's because we go on subway rides, and when you're underground, odds are you're not going to get any any five uh, G uh, connection. In fact, I get no connection at all. Uh, just on some stations we get connections. So we'll have to see how that thing goes. But for the majority of the world, they are not. They don't care about that stuff. So you could play it anywhere as long as you pay for a subscription price, let's say, for like, let's say you got T-Mobile. And, t you know, T-Mobile, Sprint or whatever, they all go hand in hand. Like, uh, I think, I forgot which one, I think AT&T went hand in hand with the PlayStation Vita. So you'll be able to get that kind of data plans or whatever. And now we have unlimited data plans, most of us at least. So you'll be able to play games on the go and real console-like quality. I mean, this is really bad news for Nintendo. Myself, uh, it's not really that bad news because, well, obviously I'm going to be with my Nintendo Switch because I go, uh, no, you know, I love the Mario games. I love the games on it, the exclusive games that are made for it. 
Uh, but I also love being, you know, I'm on the subway all the time. I don't love it, but I'm on the subway all the time. So I got to play something that I don't need a connection for. But who knows? Maybe they might do something around those edges. Now, the PlayStation Vita original through play, uh, they did a PlayStation Now, something like that, where you could stream PlayStation 3 games onto your uh uh, PlayStation Vita. Now that was pretty freaking cool. I remember playing it. They had huge latency issues, so it was crap. But when you played it on Wi-Fi, you still had latency issues. But playing God of War, you know, on the, on the PlayStation Three and playing it on your uh, PlayStation Vita was freaking amazing. And what the heck is Microsoft thinking right now? They're going to be thinking of a lot of things. They're going to be thinking of uh, pro possible uh, Xbox games. Uh, to come out for it, Sega games, all kinds of cool stuff, just like uh, Nintendo Switch right now is going to have a bunch of Dreamcast games, can you imagine, uh, 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 because uh, Sega right now is a software developer, Dreamcast available on that as well, so Nintendo is going to have a massive, massive competitor, in, the, in terms of worldwide speaking, people don't go and take the subways, people that are going to have 5G is not, it's not going to be all around the world, okay? They're not going to have that many regions around the world right now. But once it becomes a norm, or even at, you know, to be honest, even at LTE, you can get a good solid HD, you know, gameplay going on. And yeah, you might have latency from, from now on, but imagine being able to play this for a small, uh, you know, small subscription fee. Nobody's really going to look at Nintendo anymore. Already people are leaving Nintendo, as you saw, people who got screwed. But then again, you got new buyers, new customers who are experiencing Nintendo. So this is going to be pretty interesting to see what's going to come out of this. I'm really curious to see what's going to come in the end of that road. But, you know, it is it is coming. And th there's going to be a lot of competitors that are coming. And I, say that, I said this in my past videos, if you remember. I said, streaming is going to be the future. Streaming, soon you're going to be able to do that on all the home consoles. They might require you to have a console. I don't think... Microsoft's going to care too much for that. I think they're going to look more at uh, Project X Cloud as you not having to get a console, but you paying a subscription fee to play games for, let's say, per year or monthly or something like that. And it's going to happen. I mean, Adobe already is doing like monthly, uh, what is it, memberships to their uh, Photoshop and all that other stuff. Uh, Windows might very well be doing that. I mean, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft might be really doing that right now in a subscription fee and make a ton of uh, a killing, a lot of money off of that. Uh, I'm really interested to see how it's going to go. Uh, Microsoft, if there's any company that could do it, it's a billionaire industry, a trillionaire industry like Microsoft. So we're going to see how the heck that works into the equation. But Nintendo, you got a lot of competition coming up, believe it or not. Uh, the only thing they got going for them really is the exclusive games, which I love their Mario games and everything, and a good, nice little lineup. But at this time, they're going to now finally, they're going to have a competitor and they're going to have to be on their game. Just like NVIDIA doesn't have competitors, they're really stagnant in their, in their ways. And that's exactly how I think Nintendo is. I mean, coming out with remakes, uh, barely coming out with any exclusives whatsoever. And now they they have a good lineup coming up, but... Again, it's not enough, and especially when Microsoft is soon, gonna, in 2019, so it's right around the corner, is going to be doing a beta test. And once they get this thing going, Nintendo is going to have a big run. They're going to need to get on their game. They're going to need to get their thing straight. I hope they don't make a stupid mistake and rush to uh, uh, the Nintendo Switch, too, because they're going to lose miserably. Uh, uh, you know, all their fans, almost, uh, as you can see in the forums, everybody's already talking about that, which I told you, it's not going to come out, I don't think, uh, realistically, logically, but let's face it, uh, Nintendo of Japan, there's nothing logical about those idiots over there, but let's say they had a guy with a functioning brain, at least a, a quarter of a func uh, functioning brain, they would not really a part two but again you know desperation makes you do stupid things and i have a feeling uh we're not we're not there right now in 2019 i think it's going to be just a beta test but once it starts coming in my guess is 2022 we're going to have 5g everywhere and even probably even 6g who the hell knows but i know and look at this prediction i've been right about every one of my predictions i'm thinking this is going to be a subscription service i i am thinking by 2022 a lot of the game, like I said before in my other video, every game is going to be streamable, and it's uh, Nintendo's going to have a lot to work, you know, work for. They're going to probably go into the streaming world too. But again, you know, it's going to be cool to see how the heck this comes out. But 
I think that's what Microsoft, in the end, their end game is probably 2022. They're going to go full bore with this baby, and it's going to be the biggest badass thing that you could ever get. So anyways, let me know down uh, below what you guys think. I want to know exactly what you think about this, about uh, Project X Cloud. Definitely look into that. Uh, it's something out of the ordinary. Uh, out of the, It's now becoming a norm. Actually, a lot of people are using the cloud services now. So it's becoming a real powerhouse, and I really think if they're going to be able to stream games from Xbox, even even one or Xbox, uh, Xbox itself, or you know Xbox 360. It's going to be freaking amazing. There's no doubt about that. Even at HD resolution on a phone, it doesn't mean it doesn't matter what you have 4K on a tablet. All these things, you're going to be able to stream games and play it on the go, on a plane, on a train. Hopefully, uh, you know. What do you guys think down below? Uh, maybe this is the good kick in the pants Nintendo needs to up their game and right now while they're working on betas it's time for Nintendo to establish their brand I don't care what anybody thinks it's not established uh, in terms of, uh, and I call their brand Nintendo Switch now that is not established 3DS yes Nintendo Wii yes the Wii U was not this thing is not they need to come out with system sellers immediately so people are out already getting it so once they become locked into the Nintendo ecosystem, they won't be that, you know, fast to join Team Microsoft. You understand? That's the way I think. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, as always, self-funded here. And uh, definitely uh, the only way you guys can help me out is by liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. But also, most importantly, I want to hear what you guys have to think down below. What, what you guys think down below. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.